All right, welcome to Scandinavia Arena here in Gothenburg, everybody, which is an arena where they will sell you a half liter of beer for 75 kroners. It is three and a half percent, and I guess they encourage you to drink it with a straw, <laughs> which must be the worst way to drink beer. So I'm gonna pass on that. But in any case, they have the McDonald's here, ah. not bad. And even uh, Espresso House, Ooh. where the very pregnant Ivana got a decaf latte, mm -hmm. which is right up her alley. Now, we've come to this arena because we made a video in Stockholm of Division 2 hockey, and the comments were unanimous. We must go to Division 1, and the team they recommended was Frolunda HC, which is right here in Gothenburg. So I guess inside will be better hockey as well as a better atmosphere, mm -hmm. I'm led to believe. So let's uh, go check it out. First time seeing Division 1 hockey here in Sweden. Let's go. Ah. This beer tastes like apple juice. Really? Like fermented apple juice. I may have ordered a cider. Might be cider. <laughs> what did you ask when you order? It's bad. I, I just said, um, can I have a beer? Ah. I think it's the worst beer I ever had. I'm just being honest. Well, Brandon, you don't know. I don't even know. I just said, because there's only one beer and it's 3% and I go, ah, it's Sweden. Can I have a beer, please? And this is fermented apple juice. Okay. <laughs> We're off to a hot start here in Gothenburg. <laughs> what an introduction to the player as they skate through the pyrotechnics. And we got a sneak peek of what the ultras would be like on the far end on the uh, left side of me. And I guess to start the game here, we all start on our feet. Literally everyone in the arena is standing up right now and we're all clapping and chanting. It's going to be a pretty darn good atmosphere, I think. And for added Canadian connection, the right winger at the top of your screen in the red jersey, number 67, is in fact a Canadian. So it's a good start here and we haven't even seen puck drop yet. Underway, and so our boys are in the red and green and Ivana and I actually noticed that on the front door There's a gift shop where they're selling some jerseys. I was inclined to buy one especially the Intentionally ugly Christmas shirt that they're selling but Ivana says if we win today Maybe we'll buy one because we've already got tickets for the game in two days So let's see if they win this game and we actually really need a win because we are down to nothing in this semi-final series now, we've noticed that a lot of the fans are wearing a similar jersey to the players, but the logo is different. If anyone can help us with this, it seems like it's a very Native American-inspired logo on a lot of the fan shirts. I don't know what that has to do with Sweden, but I'd be curious to learn. And so, in any case, we're facing a team called Skeleftia. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong. They're in yellow and black, looking like some bumblebees maybe some pylons and we've noticed that their logo has the letters AIK in the logo which we thought was a team from Stockholm maybe this team is somehow affiliated to AIK or something and that's another question we have so we appreciate all your help in advance now I will predict that the red and green the very Christmas inspiring uniforms will win by a score of 4-1 today against the uh, black and yellow Skeleftia and here we are on the attack in the first few minutes so let's see if my prediction is correct here in Gothenburg. Wow. I tell you what, one prediction that was absolutely correct is all the comments who told us that we would really love the atmosphere over here. There is a clear difference in atmosphere from Division 1 to Division 2 hockey here in Sweden because the entire crowd here is chanting. Not just the ultras down here, but rather the entire crowd is screaming and chanting as you can here. And I guess the stadium has a pretty old school construction where we cannot actually see the fans sitting across from us because the center ceiling is too low. And so the entire building is sort of shaped like a saddle where it uh, has a concave roof and up on each end. But despite the relatively old arena, these fans are so lively. I guess the capacity here is something like 12,000, but it sounds like 20 or 25,000 because everyone in the entire audience is chanting and cheering. So it's, uh, it's a pleasure to be a part of. And we've got pretty good seats right here at center ice or so. Although we are up pretty high, it's pretty darn good seats. Come on, come on. Ah, here we go, here we go. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Woo. I can't wait to hear the volume when we score our goal because uh, it's already tremendously loud in here. Wow. 
Whoa, look at that. Can you see that? The referee, or rather the linesman, I think he's got a GoPro on top of his helmet. I wonder if they use that camera for the television broadcast or whether it's to check off sides on a video replay. I don't know, but that's something I've never seen before. It looks like he's got a GoPro on top of his helmet there. It would be pretty good footage, I bet, though. I'll tell you that much. this but you gotta protect the goalie. The defenseman gotta shove that guy pretty hard after that. Let's give him a double shot because he just took down the goalie. He took down the goalie intentionally. That's gotta be a penalty. It's gotta be. Yeah, 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 good. Yeah, yeah, it's a penalty. Caramba! That was pretty nice execution by them on the 2 on 1. The pass went through, and luckily, I think our goalie got a piece of it. Okay, boys, our power play. Time for us to attack. Man, this is our power play right now. Oh, gosh. What are we doing? Gosh, we got 10 seconds left in the power play already. All right, power play's over. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, all right, take that. And I tell you what, and I know this is a bit random, but I've never seen a hockey arena where the stands are so dark. We're really sitting in the dark over here. I'm not complaining, to be clear. It doesn't really hurt the experience, but. It is tremendously dark in the seats. <laughs> Something different. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, that was a nice second save by the goalie. Wow, I tell you what, I'm assuming what's happened is we've run into a really hot goalie because according to the stats on the Jumbotron before the game, oh, oh, oh. yeah, this goalie is sharp right now. Uh, according to the stats on the Jumbotron before the game, this goalie is number two in the league in terms of goals against average. And uh, so far, he's been really good. Rolling up. Rolling up. Rolling up. Rolling up. Uh, what is that? The knee in the head. The knee in the head. It's in the UFC, man. <laughs> he just knee the guy in the back of the head. Which, by the way, I think knees to the head when a guy's down is actually illegal in UFC. <laughs> that move was too dirty for fist fighting, man. Come on! No, 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 Darn it, man. Bummer. Short-handed. All right, penalties over, boys. One more save and we're out of this one. Good job, no rebounds. Back to five on five. I'll tell you what, these two teams got a rivalry or something. Because after the whistle, there's a lot of pushing and shoving. A whole lot of pushing and shoving. area down here it looks so I don't know it looks so amateur no this doesn't look like a professional arena it's got some like plastic hanging over the boards with like an extension cord it's one of the biggest differences I noticed especially sitting way up high in these seats that little six or eight foot area it's just so so ugly so distracting from the view anyway sorry to complain but just uh, something I always notice nice try boys nice try all right, so we're gonna be short-handed here again with about a minute left in the first. The crowd did not love the penalty call, although typically the home fans never love a penalty call against the home team, to be fair. Oh gosh, nice little passing play. Great save by our goalie, really great save. Wow, really great save. 
really great team. Yeah, buzzer beater. All right, into the first. All right, so the first intermission, you don't see me with a beer. I'm thinking there's something wrong with that cake. <laughs> and if I got a beer now, it would be better, but maybe I'll save my next beer for the next intermission. Because that last one was not beer. It was some sort of apple juice with yeast or something. It was awful. Now, I'd like to do this intermission with two questions for the lovely Ivana, because the lovely Ivana is not a hockey player, to be clear. No. So question one, can you notice, be honest, this hockey is different in any ways to the hockey we saw last week, which is Division One in Sweden versus Division Two in Sweden. Any difference in the hockey? To be honest, I cannot tell. I thought you might say that. So I can tell it's it's better hockey. One is okay. everything's faster. All right. It's the nature of all sports. It just happens faster. Okay. And two is the puck is spending less time just bouncing around with people kind of hacking at it. Huh. It's like it takes a real skilled hockey player to get the puck from your feet to your stick with your head up and make a good pass. Okay. And so the puck is under control. It's more of a smooth game and less of what I call sloppy hockey where everyone's just sort of chopping at it and pucks bouncing around in sort of a boring game. All right. So I do notice it's better hockey, but I thought you might say you didn't notice because you're not a <laughs> hockey player. Uh, second question. Do you notice the fans here are so much better? Because the comments said hmm. the, the fans here were going to be like head and shoulders clearly better than the fans in Stockholm. Can you notice anything with the fans, the lovely Ivana? Again, I thought they're both great. The one in Yugo, Gordon. Got it. They, they had some kind of choreography in the beginning. I yes. like that. They had some flags over here, but they didn't use them yet. Ah. I haven't seen the flags yet. Also, when the game started, I think it was louder here than in Stockholm. Oh, okay. But since the game started, it's kind of been down to a normal level. I like the way here, when the ultras do the chanting and clapping, everyone seems to clap, mm -hmm. but we've lost our momentum since the beginning of the game. So hopefully we score a goal. I think a goal will get us back in the swing of things. And maybe if we score a goal, I will reward myself with a second redemption chance at a beer <laughs> in the next intermission. All right. I, I need like a brush my teeth or something. That last beer was, you guys know me, I love all beer. I'm pro beer. That Except beer was that one. the first one I had where I was like, this is awful. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so uh, second period coming up. Let's go. All right, second period underway here, which means our boys are shooting to the right, and the fellas in yellow are shooting to our left. We just finished our penalty kill, and we got a bit of an odd man rush here. All right, not a bad start to the period. Time to score. Right here, right now. Show me a goal, baby. I'm ready for it. Somebody got to stick up for our goalie. They're running our goalie hard. And I thought I heard a whistle. I guess I didn't. What? What just happened? What the hell? What on earth just happened? I think everyone in the arena heard a whistle, but there wasn't a whistle. That was crazy. Their goalie was halfway to the bench because he thought the play stopped. And so we dove back at the net. Look at him, he's skating in the corner because he doesn't realize the play's still going. And then he dove and he hit it with his stick. He hit it with the tip of his stick. What? That was bizarre. Everybody thought the play stopped. I mean, even, even the home fans are clapping. Give us right. Even we were clapping for that save because that was a Superman dive with a stick out. Wow, that was a brilliant save. I mean, you'll never see that, you know, once every couple hundred teams. Wow, that's <laughs> unbelievable, man. My pass. Oh, nice try. Nice try. This goalie, I mean, he's hot. That head first diving save, that was some incredible coordination. I still can't get over that. And since then, he's made a few more big saves. Uh, this goalie's hot right now. Another nice save by their goalie. Darn it, man. And I tell you what, they beat us twice in a row in this series. We're down 2 nothing. And in the previous series, these boys in yellow swept four games. So they've won six games in a row at this point, meaning they are incredibly hot right now. And we're trying to put an end to that streak. Okay, here we go, here we go. One net. Yeah! Great try, fellas. Good 
use of the power button, man. Good try, boys. Good try. Not up. Okay, one more shot before the power button's over. Good fucking troll. Ah. Darn it. All right, five on five. Oh my gosh. Woo! Nearly a breakaway pass there on the guy coming out of the box. Oh, end to end hockey. Oh, that was exciting, but couldn't quite find the handle at the last second. Oh. Rebound, rebound. Oh, it's rugby, it's rugby. I tell you what, these refs gotta blow their whistle louder because I can't hear the whistle half the time. What? Soon in the next game. Here we go, here we go. Yep. That's the classic power play goal. That one timer from the dog, man. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. No, no, no. Arpa, Arpa, Arpa. Ah. Ourselves a playoff game. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this goalie in yellow has been playing really good. If you look at him in the in the crouch, his stick is so short. I've never seen a goalie with his blocker so low. His blocker is almost in front of his pad. He's got a real low crouch. Not to mention he's not the tallest goalie ever. So uh, he's playing really well despite his kind of small and really compact style. It's sort of unique and it's really working for him. Sort of fun to watch because as you guys know I was a goalie myself. So uh quite fun to watch this guy in yellow. One of the shortest sticks I've ever seen a pro goalie use. <laughs> Kill it. I tell you what, this second period is just flying by. We got about five minutes left. And to be clear, we've had about three or maybe even four. But at the very least, three power plays down here. We just can't seem to buy a goal. I wonder if our team's getting frustrated because their goalie is hot and we are outplaying them. We have more possession, we have more shots, but it's still 0 0, meaning next goal is going to be a huge one. bit of a homer but that's a penalty to me. I tell you what, there's a lot of rough stuff happening. I mean this is everything you can do without fighting. Oh they're fighting! Someone dropped their gloves. They're trying to fight at least. Somebody dropped their gloves. I wonder if that means you're gone for this game and more. I'm not sure the rules on fighting in uh, in Sweden. Oh, it might be a helmet and a glove on the ice. I mean... <laughs> and so we're gonna penalty. It's just two minutes for roughing. Oh, in fact, it's offsetting minors, so they got a penalty also. It's uh, still 5 on 5. Alright everybody, I have to ask, because the lovely Ivana is very curious. What is our mascot? The horns are very small. It's almost like a goat or like a chipmunk with little horns on it. I think it's a bull. A bull? He's a huge bull, says the lovely Vana. Could be. Let us know in the comments. Not now, boys. We don't need to fall behind with 10 seconds left in the period. Oof. Tell you what, this really sets up the drama for the first goal, which hopefully comes in the third. All right, I'm gonna try to have a good luck beer. Air quotes, <laughs> let's try. All right, so 0-0 zero, zero right now. To be clear, we're playing pretty well. We've had chances, but the other team's goalie is very good, but I do have hope because if you keep trying and you never give up in life, you might just find what you're looking for. So hopefully we can find a goal in this second period. 
we found a little bar here where they've got beer. Incredibly loud. I think you gotta finish your beer before you go back because this is the real stuff. This is the strong stuff. But uh, hopefully we score. All, the only analysis I can provide is hopefully we score. Coming soon. Because we're playing well and we've got lots of chances, but we cannot buy a goal. Although we can buy a beer. Okay, second period. Here. Watch the lights at the beginning of the period. They're gonna zoom out. Woo! Like that. Not bad. That's gotta be something! No call there? That was an interesting type of body check for hockey. Looks more like a tackle. Woo! Another big hit. Oh gosh. Saved by our goalie, he punched that one out of the air. That was a really nice save. That was an easy puck to uh, get lost in the sort of traffic there. But he saw the puck well. I tell you what, the first time in the game, I can actually hear the away team fans. It's getting more and more quiet in here, and we need a goal desperately. Because we're falling asleep out here, honestly. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> Dim lighting and no goals. Oh gosh, Yvonne's gonna fall asleep on my shoulder, guys. I'll tell you what, both goalies are playing well. I mean, it's a 0 0 game, but it's not because there haven't been changes. Both goalies have made some big saves. Oh. Oh. taken out by one of our players and those boys in yellow jerseys really stuck up for that goalie I don't know if he's a star of the team or what but they fought for him like he's their brother <laughs> that's playoff hockey we got helmets and sticks thrown across the ice and everybody shoving someone and saying something Woo! playoff hockey baby playoff hockey we're left the and the ref I will say this the ref is doing a good job of making the penalties equal and offsetting as to not dictate the outcome of the game. You gotta give someone a penalty there, but if you do both sides, yeah, let the guys play. And you don't make the ref decide the outcome. There it is, here it is, here it is, one pass. Oh, man! Oh, that's a penalty! That's gotta be a penalty! Oh, penalty shot! Penalty shot! It's gotta be a penalty shot! Put that up on my purpose! Rowdy over here! You gotta do something there. That dude took the net off on purpose because we almost scored. That was no accident. That was no accident. Puck on center ice. Penalty shot. Oh, that's a penalty, man! That's the late of game! Ivana, what's Swedish for boo? Oh, boo! I'm the first Swedish word. <laughs> Boo. I take a lead. Awesome. Just awesome.
There you have it, everybody. Stay tuned for next episode when I will be wearing the Frolunda Christmas sweater. I'm sold. <laughs> I'm gonna buy it. And I'd like to give a massive shout out to Ivana, five months pregnant, with some butt pain and some uncomfort, and she was not in the mood for overtime. I can tell you that much for sure. To sit for another 20 minute period. So good news we scored at the last second there. Thanks for watching. Later.
a goal. Bang, pop, score a goal. Bang, pop, score a goal. <laughs> <laughs>